Bichinho do Coco, the coconut worm. You are probably wondering what a coconut worm has to do with my story of a journey. This is the house I grew up with my grandparents for the first five years of my life. This is a very small village in Piauí state in Brazil, considered one of the poorest states in the country. A place with no electricity, no running water, and all the furniture inside was made from trees by my grandfather's hands. This is how a school close to the village looks like. Kids has no place to sit and all the walls are made with adobe. We didn't have a bathroom inside and we used to get water from the spring. My grandmother used to crack open coconut for a living. She would break the coconut and get the meat to sell it. Many coconuts come with the worm and we used to eat it as a snack. So we used to fry it and eat it with flour. And some people came to me and said, Vanya, you had a very difficult childhood. And I said, no, this is not a sad story. I was a very happy kid. Look at me play with my favorite toy, a tire. The coconut worm is special. It is part of my story. Something that I will never forget about my childhood it's when I was five years old and every day by 11.30 all the kids would come back from school. You know what I used to do? I used to run inside and grab all my uncle's books and go outside. I would pretend that I was doing my homework because I wanted to be one of them. And I remember that at the same year I moved to the capital to live with my mom and there I got education. Uh, I wanted, after my high school, I wanted so much to go to college, but the only way for me to go to college was by passing the exam entrance at the Federal University. Federal University in Brazil, they are the best, but they are very hard to get in, and they are free to study. I studied very hard, and in 2007, I started my major in English. It was amazing. In order to accomplish my dream, I decided to leave my family and travel for 2,000 miles to live in Belo Horizonte and take my master's degree at the Federal University of Minas Gerais, a very competitive university to get in. During the selection process, I was supposed to read 10 books for the exam. However, I read only nine. The result? The book I didn't read was there and I failed. The next year, in 2012, I tried again. I studied really hard and I got the fourth position out of 124 people. I started doing my master in 2013 and months later I had the amazing opportunity to spend three months in Texas doing a volunteer work with kids in the summer. This year, in May 2015, I finished my master's degree in Brazil and at the same time I was participating in a selection to get a Fulbright scholarship. This scholarship, as far as I know, is one of the most difficult to get in. And guess what? I'm here studying at Florida State University and working as a foreign language teaching assistant. I love being here. My best friend here at FSU is from Jordan. I've been learning a lot from her. I've been learning some words like marhaba, kifek, shukran. And I do want to go to Jordan because I want to learn more about the culture and the language and go back to Brazil and teach my family, my friends and students how wonderful travel is to meet and understand other cultures. So guys, don't you think, do I look like somebody from Jordan? <laughs> so let's do the dance. Let's do the okay. Dance. Look, right, down, down. Left, right, down, down. Left, right, down, down. <laughs>